de kiaha of now to come on goroko aha sitse de gibi shikamo goroko tsoma hama ne ki na hana hana shin sitse kini hitsa shikiaha yes 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 te kitsa mm mm te kurutsu tsu aha mm Yes, yes. Oh, again. Hi, Mana. It's Darlene. Yes, um, yes. I wish to continue what you were saying to Jen because I feel like um, I'm also um, at a position where I'm learning. I was feeling everybody's energies and to distinguish what's mine and what's not. And I'd like to know, I understand that you said to Jen that in order to, to do that, to breathe and to expand, um, is that the definition to live more harmonious in that situation? And also, can I eventually just choose to say this is no longer in alignment with me and I wish to Tamaha. experience something else, Tamaha. so I'm going to leave? Tamaha. Yes, of course. Yes. And that is where you will use your discernment, is it not? And you're all given that ability, are you not? Yes. Yes. And so many of you look for a sign or look for someone to tell you, is yeah. this right or is this wrong? And so this is the gift, is it not? For you to become your own advocate. Yeah. For you to become your own voice of change. For you to become both gentle and loud in your conviction to discontinue energetic connection. Yes. All parts of this movement are available to you. All parts of this movement are lessons to you. Yes. And understanding that your energy, or you are only countable for your own energetic connection to self, this is what will propel you in your most confusing, delicate energetic situations or exchanges. Yes. Yes. This will be the foundation in which you will quote unquote survive. Yes. yes. This will be what navigates you through troublesome waters. Yes. When it becomes most confusing of how to navigate or sail, yes, the truth and the light of who you are, that you are only responsible for your own energy or your own frequency in which you radiate, radiate into the world, this is what will help you navigate confusing energetic situations. Yes. And if there is conflict in which others are draining or pulling at your energy, are you not being put, are you not putting yourself in that situation to gain greater awareness of understanding of how to handle it. That is all. So many of you take things so seriously, yes? <laughs> yes. Why is this happening? Yes. Really for the light of understanding. That is all. That is all. That is all. So I've been waiting for my outer words to change when I could actually just choose. Of course. Yes. Yeah, that's been my problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is okay. <laughs> For perhaps, yes, the choice is made when the choice is made, yes. yes. And there does not need to be any should have, would have, could have. Yes. So let us release that. Yes. For you could not make that choice then. You make it now because you are you now. Yes. You are not you then. You are you now. And so everything was a gift up until the point that you could make that choice. Yes. And so we release blame in this way, and we no longer say to our, ourselves, I should have known better, for you could not have known better. Yes, for you are constantly evolving, we, as we have said. Yes, you are birthing and dying in every moment. Yes, in this reality and others. Yes. So you do not need to be confused about this any longer. Yes. And you can free your energetic e e space for newer energetic expressions. Yes. So you are freer now. Yes. And so you can breathe into that. Yes. To say to yourself now, the burden I have been carrying has become too heavy. Yes. I refuse to carry it, and I carry it no longer. When I let it go, I recognize that this has been a nice experience, but it is time to leave now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Ich Kuaha. The key Kiaha. And this is a beautiful thing. As you are. Sit the Kima Kina Mi Kima Hana Hana. Shikimi Ni Hima Naha Ish Kiaha. Hmm, and we are all in alignment with the same ener energetic expression, yes, and so we can see this, yes, it becomes easier to co-create with others, yes, when we, when we can see a part of them that is beautiful, reflected in our own beauty, yes, we can release this burden with ease, to know they are just as confused as you are, yes. <laughs> They are learning as you are, yes. They are just as blind as you are, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are in it together, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This will help you breathe, yes. This will help you release or release uncomfortable physical sensation, yes, yes. Again, you are merely a reflection for me to learn upon, yes. Yes, whether you choose to say this or not is up to you. We are delighted to see the outcome of this. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And should you choose to say this, yes, this will be part of your own experience. Yeah. And should you choose to carry this through your energetic usukwaha constructs, you will see how this changes the energy of the room. Yes. By simply being that, yes, Tokuaha, your awareness has shifted, in which the awareness of this plane of existence has shifted now, yes? And so you are part of this movement, are you not? And so when you make this choice to better yourself through discernment, is the world not rejoiced in knowing that, that others too can make this choice for themselves, yes? And so you think that you are alone in this, yes? I am making this choice for myself. Understand that you are impacting global existence, planetary existence, yes? As you are making it an easier space to live in by making these choices of freedom for yourself, yes? You are liberating the planet to make these choices as well, yes? And you are saying that is a big responsibility. <laughs> I did not know that. Release the burden of responsibility, yes? And know that you are most capable to make important, healthy decisions once we are releasing the burden or the seriousness of these decisions, yes? We are freer, yes? To recognize them as learning experiences, yes? Mm -hmm. yes that, is that is all. And then you can laugh, yes? Yeah. As you rejoice and leave your physical existence to say, this was part of my soul's journey, yes, and here I am, delighting in the Ikiha return to the knowingness that all is one and separate no longer, yes, as two am I, and Tikiha transferring the energy of that revelation to the here and now, yes, in which you can transfer the revelation of Ishikiha, an outer body experience, to a bodily experience, yes, this is the new dawn of man in which you no longer need to die to be reborn. You can choose to be reborn now at any moment. Shikiaha, fascinating, yes. The Kishikira Kiaha, yes, yes, thank you, yes. The Kimahana Hamaha Mahana Ishikiaha, and the Aalai, yes, you are also beautiful, yes. The Kishimahamaha. Mana, can I ask you a quick question? This is Lisa. Yes, yes, yes. When you separate energetic cords with other people, I was told that you can visualize the cord with someone, visualize it cutting, and then you seal it with love and then reconnect with the person. Is that a good visual for people? So you are saying that you will disconnect from the cord and then seal it with love and then reconnect the cord? Yes. Mm -hmm. When you, you're bonded in love. Hmm, there is more truth to this. There is discernment involved in this, yes, and so we will say there is no formulaic way, yes, in which you will discern what is appropriate. Yes. So you don't have to reconnect it then? <laughs> that is what we are saying, correct? Wow. Yeah, you don't have to reconnect. Okay, good. Correct, that is what we are saying, yes, very good, yes. Thank you. There will be other, jet, other energetic expressions available to you in which 
referring to the notion of a contract, yes? Yes. So this is where your discernment will lie, yes? Am I energetically obligated to serve this contract, yes? Once this contract or the purpose of the, re the relationship has been, been fulfilled, yes? Yeah. I am expiring my own energy. I am holding on. How many of you have held on to painful relationships? Yes. When your spirit knew that it was time to let go. Yes. Perhaps this is a process as well, in which all things will be revealed to you. Yes. For some chords are more complex than others, are they not? Yes. And we would like to highlight that many of you expect very literal, clear-cut answers. Yes. You want to know things exactly how they are. And we would say that is a beautiful thing, but one devoid of your own personal expression and one devoid of your personal accountability. Yes. So let us explore these things as a blueprint. Yes. And whatever information that you hear should be a blueprint for your own discernment. Yes. Even these words now, yes, even these words now, yes, for are you not all your own voice of God? Yes. So this is the energy that is available to you now, yes, not the energy of information, but the energy of enlightenment that can be found through, through each of your personal experiences and expressions and relationships with each other, yes. Yes, and this is a beautiful thing. Yes, is it not? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is so. It is so. It is so. Shehi we kiyamaha, ri ki mitse i yaha, shikiyaha, taking a deep breath, ebishima mumokurumaha, siyaha, ishikiyaha, sutsaha, releasing any sadness, any forms of attachment, shitsumokurumaha. Shikiyaha, imagining all of these kiyaha forms of attachment, yes, as little balls, knotted balls of energy, yes, and as you breathe in and breathe out, these little knotted balls of energy, yes, become expansive and untie themselves, yes, yes, they untie themselves and let them go through your breath, yes, as you return to the center spirit, yes. In alignment with only one one energetic cord that runs throughout your entire energetic body that that ties you energetically to 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 the earth core, yes, yes, to the earth center, yes, yes. up through your chakras, yes, to the divine house of God, yes, sukuwaha, and back within the center of self. Yes. So knowing that you are one, yes, with earth, sky, and spirit, tzitzikaha, felt in the heart of self, yes. And all that you seek will be available here. Moromokumo, shikimi yaha, yes. Toshukutsu, ikitsa, maha. Toshutsukuru kutsu, shukutsutsu. De anda, 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 eshema kanamahana. De anda, 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 leiki riyaka, leiki riyaka, leiki riyaka, do honda. Ah, yes. And it feels so good to be alive, does it not? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And we, 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 we thank you for being here with honest heart and spirit. Yes. And we rejoice in your return. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you most kindly. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mama, for sharing your wisdom with us. Yes. 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 That's a real bound for you. What? That's yeah, a real bound she is. For you. She's so sweet. Mm -hmm.
So um, sometimes I'll go, like, I like to go around the room and, you know, kind of share. If you have to leave now, you can leave. That's certainly fine. Um, I like to share for a little bit and tell you my impressions of Sarah. And you can share if you have any thoughts or feelings. Um, I think that's a nice thing to do. So let me see. Um, before I start, does anybody have anything they want to share? Oh, wait. No, I know what I want to share. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, I felt your energy big time. So I don't know what you've been, if you've been doing anything different or if you feel good or anything's kind of new for you. I've just been doing this for like two years and doing a lot of work for myself. Yeah, but something shifted. Yeah. yeah. And, and even you guys sitting together, I felt there was an energetic connection too. Like, I don't know, maybe um, going through something similar or just similar kind of energy. Like, you're, it happens a lot when people sit next to each other. Similar energy. I felt that. Um, so I felt like his message was for you too, in other words. It was very similar, if that makes sense. Um, but they were also saying to you, like, you feel the energy in the room, and we feel you feeling it. Okay. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Yeah. Um, and also, so as Amana's moving energy, some of you are helping Amana do that. Like, your energy was, like, assisting doing that. <laughs> Yeah, which is kind of cool, which is why they asked you, are you a healer? Because, uh, like a healer, right? That's that's the type of energy a healer would, like, assist in moving the energy. So whether you were aware of that or not, kind of like you were part of that energetic movement, you know, which was a really cool thing for me to feel as Sarah. Um, Charlie's question, there was a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it, it's yeah, almost... Can you sum, summarize it to whatever extent you were able to? So... They were saying there was in a little bit in your question. So when we ask questions, I do this all the time. Um, I was just sitting with someone. I have a good friend, and she can understand the light language. And so I was sitting with her, and I had all these questions. Like She's like, they're telling me that you think too much like a human. Like, stop thinking like a human. So there was a little bit of that, not intentionally, just because we think like that. How can we not? So they were saying, like, you're expecting this answer kind of of, like, is it this or is it that? Is it this or is it that? And then they're like, it's kind of like, there's no need to think like that. Um, like they were kind of saying, I think, I think what you were asking is like, when we leave our consciousness, are we going back into like remembering that? Right. So let's say if we're if we're sleeping, and we're having a dream, we die an hour dream. Let's say we mm -hmm. die an hour sleep. Does the dream just continue and we? continue our existence on the other side in that dream within our own mind so, so or do we get to perceive something with on the outside of that self or outside perception which, of another reality which they didn't really i wasn't processing it like that i think right. what they what i was what they were processing it is um is there it was the energy of that question um was was there is there a beginning or is it an end that was the energy of his question. So even though he was asking that, they were perceiving it that way. They had an energy of that to it. So what they were saying is, there is no answer to that because it's constantly happening as you're alive right now. You're constantly, that's how, does that make sense? Yeah, it's the, it's the continuous singular, singularity of consciousness that's always perpetuating through the cycle yes. of life so and death. so the same life. thing. So when you die, it will do the same thing. It will continue. So how many of us have this birth and death constantly, right? We're awakening and we're shedding and we're like, we're, we literally feel like we're dying and being reborn because you really are. And also, which could kind of blows your mind, it's kind of trippy, mm -hmm. they were talking about like multiple realities and parallel dimensions mm -hmm. in which other parts of you are actually dying and being right. born, actually physically dying. So you are experiencing that now, mm. even though you're here now, and yeah. so, but we're not, but we're they not consciously. When you but you, they said, they answered that in, when you raise your vibration. Yes. With love of self, because you gratitude, ask, well, filters, then you're able to experience those multiple or those other dimensional realities yes, and of you birth. And, and you had said, which was good that you said it, when he had said, do those filters come off? which was a good way to put it, because that clarified to them, yes, as we um, evolve and as we ascend, our filters of like the difference between other realities will start to dissipate. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, and like, when is this going to happen? I don't know. Well, it is <laughs> but it is, it is already, already happening. happening for some of us now. Yes. Like, I can tell you it's happening to me. Yes, me um, too. That I'm experiencing other lives, and I'm like, holy this feels like it's happening now yeah. and because it is so some of us are experiencing that now 
Um, but they also said as like, not like a warning, but they were kind of like, don't think too much about this. Mm -hmm. Like, don't, because this is not the point, right? Like, we can... Right. Right. Yeah. And you're not living in the now. Right. Yeah. Like, thinking but about this is good to know because it kind of gives you this this connection that there's so much more. But don't let this kind of, like, you know... You, you've got to concentrate on emotional yeah, self-love, well-being before you start thinking about other things like that. Yeah. It's actually... I'm just going to explain how I see it. It's actually kind of cool. If I'm having a relationship with someone, I can see their past life connection with me. Yes. And That's they could either be a brother or a sister or something, and it would just flash. And because I had to ask someone else, I was like, "Wait a minute, what?" It's like, mm -hmm. "What?" So they pissed me off then, and they're still <laughs> pissing me off now. Yes. And so I have to heal this shit from a last life and this life at the same time. And now that's the answer I'm getting is yes. So I asked her about the cord. So they're like, "Yeah, you cut that cord from the past life. Now you really got to cut it." All and right, because you asked like, "Do we have to reattach?" And then I think you yes, said, "No, I we don't." Did. Yeah, no, I, said, and they I said, didn't know that. That it is. It's a clear And they cut. said it's discernment for you right. too. Like you will be the one who. Has has the final say where you will feel right. like I felt like oh this has like I felt like some people I don't need to cut the cord like I can just exist and it's okay right, right. but I felt some people I'm like oh uh, like you just know you know when right. that's appropriate um, I've also felt too like I've met people that I know in another life or reality we have a relationship but it's not in this life yes and I felt it like in dreams or it's so weird it is but you can feel it in some other existence, but it's not here now. Well, what's cool is what? you can feel the feeling from then and there now. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. I mean, like I feel like I have a past. Like some people I'm really close with, like Jen. Like I feel like she was like my mother or like my husband. Or there's some connection. So it's kind of like, but she's not. She's my friend. <laughs> so it's. But these things, you know. Um, also, this will happen when it's ready to happen. So don't force it, like the growth, like it'll happen. This past life will come to you when there's like a connection in this life, right? So there's like a parallel smack, like, so something is happening in this life that's propelling. So, cause how many lives have we lived? We have thousands of lives. So you're not gonna go through all of them and heal all of them in this life, but there's gonna be significant ones that are gonna mirror something that's going on in your life now that you're gonna need to heal. And you can do that with help, and you can do that with meditation, things like that. So, I know in your intro, when you were talking about when you were channeling, but you know what you're going to cover are about soul groups, and I didn't get to this question, but can you belong to more than one soul group at the same time oh, in your relationships? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yes. Yeah. And, and do, they, do these relationships change? I mean, I... I mean, it depends on what the contract is that you have with them. And, uh, and yes, the answer I mean, it's can. just like I'm in this room and I feel very drawn to come here and listen to what's being said and process it. So, okay, I guess I'm part of this. But yet, I have all these other associations that I have... Very right, little, like are those are those little are those like little separate soul groups is what are, you're saying? I mean, or are they all one? If you, if you know, know what's called a, a, a Venn diagram, <laughs> it's like you have circles, <laughs> different circles, <laughs> and they <laughs> all kind of intersect. I, with one. Sense. Sense. I think, I think I, I, the way I I, I, I could be wrong about this, but I believe that you stay in one soul group and you travel lifetime after lifetime with that same soul group only playing different roles in each other's lives. But you are connected to the all. Yeah. So maybe that soul group is all. Right, but I've even heard that some souls that you're contracted will wait in a space to be reborn with you again if they need to have another contract, like you didn't finish your agreement. So some people... Like, well, you come back. That's called right. an interception. And right, and that's why they want you to cut the cord completely, because you're like, oh, crap, I really got to cut this cord. If I got to look at you again in another life, I'm going to but, <laughs> but, but there are many people that live... There are many people that live a lifetime after... Uh, that do not do the work in each lifetime. Right. And they have to come back many, many, many... Could be hundreds Right, and then that's what I'm like saying to them. Please, issue. please get the lesson so we can be done here. Yeah, well, that's the thing. <laughs> You don't have to carry it over. Right, exactly. I'm like, okay. I'm so starting to see that. It's pretty funny. I think that you should have asked that question. <laughs> but no. That is a good question. No, it's yeah. next week. You know what? You should put it in a little book for next week. Yeah. A little question book. I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. This is what Sarah feels. I have a feeling that we have like an intimate soul group. And then I think, I feel like there's other ones that kind of like rotate 
outwardly, like almost like you have your main like click here that you're constantly cycling in and out. But then I think you can kind of have these other ones on the fringe Secondary, too. Yeah. Right, right, right. And the soul group is a very large soul group right. because anyone that you know in this lifetime, even now in this life, is part of that soul group playing a role in your life. Right. It could be a neighbor. That's how big. Yeah. It could be so big. It's like a big I Italian mean, who's family. to know how big it is? <laughs> I yeah. think, and I, I wonder too, like the more, let, let's say the more you are in acceptance of who you are, like does it change? Like does it change what other people you're going to interact with? Like if I'm stuck in the stuck oh. sour, am I going to not meet other people because my vibration is low? Like, it's already been predetermined. So that's a good, that's a good thing to ask. Is it predetermined? Right. Because before you're born into here, you choose the lesson that you want to have. But is it valuable? I think, I think it is. Is it valuable? What's valuable. Valuable. Means valuable. valuable. Oh, can like, it be? Yes, if you have free will. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's always shifting. I think it's almost like a blue, like a loose map. It's like a blueprint yes. we create, create, but we have an eraser, you know, and we can redraw. I've been trying to erase, but it's not working. I'm like, okay, i got to go back to what they want me to do. Um, well, sometimes the work is too hard for people, and they don't want to do the work. And so, you're therefore, with. You're right. yeah, and you're so right. therefore, they go through their life not doing the work, and then they have to come back again in a worse situation. Right. And so, it, because each time you come back and you don't address it, it becomes worse the next lifetime. It's worse until you're literally brought down to your knees. So you'll address it, and once you address it, that's it. Then you're free. Um, and I wanted to, to something else. mention Jen's question because that was a really good question she asked. Um, and I think it related to a bunch of people. Yeah, to you. I feel like it related to Lisa too. Yeah. Um, so I feel like what they were saying to you about like the nausea thing. I wanted to see what Sarah's doing. Oh, about the, noise, the nausea thing, about um, they were saying, well, number one, you're very sensitive phys to physical sensations, mm -hmm. and it's actually how you learn. Mm -hmm. So, Jen in particular, she's like very fit, she works out, she's very sensitive to foods and like um, environmental things. Like, her body speaks to her very loudly. Mm -hmm. So, that's like a gift, you know. So, no wonder, because that's the person you are, no wonder you're having a physical mm -hmm. reaction. So that shouldn't surprise you that your body's like, those expressions of greed and like, whatever that story you tell me, the homeless, whatever, that's, no wonder your body's translating that as nauseous, because mm -hmm. that's physically, you know, it feels if that had a, Think. if that emotion has a physical sensation, then that's what it would be. Right, right. But what's the lesson here? Like, you put yourself in this situation, and now you're working there, so how do you cope with this now? So you don't have to take that on. You can observe and recognize it for what it is, but you can also claim your own space. And once you observe it, then you let it go, because it was just the lesson there for contrast. It's teaching you contrast. It's all day long. All day long. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not yeah. for you to fix anybody no, either. It's just yeah. contrast, That's the whole bottom line. It's endurance, it's perseverance. Mm -hmm. And once you kind of see it for that, then you'll release kind of those unpleasant physical sensations yeah. because it won't be necessary anymore. And you'll be able to kind of. Remember, like last week, I told the story like my mother was yelling at me and I just started making jokes, right, about the groceries. Yeah. And I was. That was in class, yeah, really. yeah, because if you can kind of like. It's like the movie The Matrix, right? At the end when he discovers he's Neo. Who's seen that movie, mm -hmm. right? He's the one, and they're shooting the bullets, and they no longer affect him. He's just mm -hmm. like, yeah. That's I always yeah. picture it like that because you become like the one, and you're like, oh, this bullet, oh, it's no yeah. longer like ah. You're exactly. not vulnerable to it anymore. You mm -hmm. see it. You become awakened like Neo, and you're like, oh, and he also I see. Couldn't help if he didn't go through all that stuff. So right. that's for the group, you know. But whoever whoever is going against you, it's like mm -hmm. the last three months. I've, um, I've had, I, I guess my compassion for society has really increased. Not that oh. I wasn't before, mm. but like I really like, you know, I really as much, you know, with, with self-preservation, you know, I really want to help as much as I can, you know, friends, clients and whatever. But if I didn't, wasn't in this really selfish, crazy situation, I guess I wouldn't be so highlighted. What not to be. But also, you know, so. when you were talking about the superhero thing, they were like, that's your heart. Like, mm -hmm. that's your soul. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the part of you that's pure. Mm -hmm. That wants to, like, mm -hmm. save the... That's not ego. Right. That's not like, I'm going to save the day. Yeah. No, that's not what it is for you. It was pure. Mm -hmm. So you honor that, but then you also honor yourself by discernment and knowing when that's appropriate and when yeah. that's not. But that joy of wanting to help, mm -hmm. that's your soul talking. Yeah. That's yeah. who you are. Um, and also... You know, because I know you, like, 
Jen is a very genuine, like, down-to-earth person, but she's, like, you can be in very superficial worlds with the modeling and the acting, so you're exposed to a lot of